Welcome, my name is Vince, and today I want to cover seven great CW learning sites that I think are just fantastic. They helped me when I was learning, and I still use them today to keep my skills sharp. The first one would be LCWO, Learn CW Online. You're going to make an account, and then you're going to log in. And for introduction, you can go through and read this and understand how the site works. Then you go to Lessons. And this will keep adding two letters or punctuations or cosines until you learn them all. You can set your words per minute, you can set the, uh, the tone, and you can even have a delay to start if you want, but I didn't see much need for that. And then once you learn the characters, you can go to Mars Machine. Let me run these up across here. I'll give you an example. I actually learned all my characters on this site before taking a class. It really increased my speed. So you want to put your cursor in here and you hit enter. And see, joke, period, C, D, X, Z and so on. And then you could also practice code groups. You could practice plain text. You got word training. Call sign training is a good one, especially if you want to get experience with contests. QTC training is also good. It actually helped me with numbers. And then with this one, you could convert any text to CW. So you take a paragraph or a page or something, you type it in here. And then you hit convert and it'll convert it to CW. Let's give this a try right here. Copy, paste, convert, and I'll put it on the record and then I'm gonna hit play. Here, you can convert any. Text. Okay. Pause. You get the idea of that. And then you could also make them on an MP3 practice file that you can put on your phone or your computer and take with you. And it even does TX training, which is kind of hard because you got to use the, the key on your mouse to do it. And then it's got a few other things. You can change your settings and you got some others. And down here you can see who's online practicing, which is a neat feature. Here I am signed in right here. And then we're gonna move on to the next one. Number two is CW Ops, which is actually CW Academy. And that's a class you take online where you'll do two online sessions a week and then they'll want you to practice like about an hour a day. And it goes on for two months and there's four levels of classes. I did all four and then I repeated uh, the last one a couple times just to try and get a little faster. But if you don't want to join it, you can also go down in here to student resources and it brings up all the practice stuff that you would do in the classes. Like here's the first class, an immediate second, and advanced is third. Oh, and beginner, I skip beginner, fundamental, intermediate, and advanced. And then it gives all the class homework and the practice assignments and all that. And if you actually want to go through it yourself and not take the class, the material's available, but you learn so much more in the class because I picked up operating tips and I picked up stuff about CW that I would have never learned on my own. Not to mention, in the class, I always had someone to practice with. I mean, the one class, we even set up a practice group outside of class, and we had all the members from the class signing in and practicing with each other, which was really cool. Now, the next one is number three, which is actually the Mars Code Trainer, which is connected to CW Academy, I believe. So you'd go in, you put your information in here. I don't know why it didn't save mine. Maybe I'm not signed in. And you go down, there's a little bit of a learning curve 
on what buttons do what, but once you got it down, you could just rock. 25 and 6 farms worth, which you could always crank that up or down. Same thing with this, up or down. And there's many other things you could do. You have ICR practice, which is head copy. There is CW Academy here, which I picked the Japanese one, C to JP. CW Academy English runs you through the same programs. Should I say the same way CW Academy teaches is how this would run you through. You got a CW generator. You got a words list where you can define what you want. LICW is Long Island CW, that's another club. CW Innovations must be a new one, I haven't heard of that. And you can pick numbers, words, abbreviations, call signs, phrases, and so on. I used this a lot when I was in class. Number four is Marsh Runner from the Afrit, if I'm saying that right, Afrit Software Inc. And unfortunately, it's not in my computer because I just got this computer last week and I don't have everything back installed in it yet. But this is a really good practice program because it will give you a call sign and you type it in here and then you hit send and it sends it back to them and then they give you an exchange you type in here with a number and then you send hit another button and it sends yours and then it's done and it moves you to a next one but you have things you can set qrn qrm qsb flutter and of course and you always experience these lids then you're going to change your speed and your hertz up here even your bandwidth this is a really good practice site, especially for contests. If you want to practice up for a contest, this is a really good site. And we're going to move over to number five, which is also not into my computer yet, but it's called Roofs XP. And this is also another practice site where you can set your speed and your tone and you can also have some filters as QRM, QRN, lids and it's just another way to practice and it helps to improve your ear to hand typing skills for if you're in a contest you can type and log fast as you're hearing it then you send your exchange and you move on these are two I highly recommend for practicing after you learn the characters and you start to build a little speed now number six is an interesting one. It's called V-Band. And it's a place where you can actually get on your computer and practice your CW either by yourself or with others. You can make friends on here. It's kind of like talking on the radio, but you're not on the radio. Now I see this one gentleman's in this channel. It's channelized. These last two have the code, the decode disabled so you can't see what's being sent. But let's pop in here and see if we can hear any. This is me because I don't have my call sign set up in here yet. And of course I don't hear anything. Now if you want to practice with your own key, you come over here to store and you'll buy this little thing. It's actually about the size of a quarter. So it's not as big as this picture makes it look. You'll have the 30 and I believe it's plus 5 for shipping. And I got mine, I just don't have it connected up to this computer yet. Everything's still kind of new here. And then you have support, if you need help. You have an about page. And going back, you have your settings. Where you can adjust the volume, the key or speed, the tone. You got a decode length, max length of 80, which they usually always increase. And then you have a latency. And anytime you're dealing with a computer, you have a latency. It's not really noticeable unless you get up probably 35 words per minute or faster. Then you got some settings here. You can flip the paddle. You actually have a bot that will interact with you. But it interacts under a, a fixed format. So after a while you get kind of used to the format. The only thing that changes is the call sign. But it's still good practice. And then you got a few other things. Enable touch pads and so on. What I like about this site is that you can get on here with people and practice. Let's see if we can hear something in here. BT. The. QTH is. Stonewood. 
West Virginia. West Virginia. And then when someone else starts sending, you'll see this line will disappear and those will come up. Now you see the space in here, that's because there's time and it's sending this off. But this is how you learn. It's a great spot to learn and practice. Okay, let's exit out of here and leave him alone. Now the next one and the last one, and which I think is the absolute best for head copy, is Morse Code Ninja. This gentleman, his name is Kurt, and I, I don't remember his call sign off the top of my head, but he's put a lot of work into this platform for people. You got his journey here, which explains a little bit about him in a short story, along with some blog posts, I believe. And you got Learn where you can go in here and you can use this to learn CW and practice characters. And then once you got that, and this is where I go all the time, is this practice file. And you see each one of these choices? Each one of these choices has a list down here of things you could practice. Now watch this list change when I click one of these. Each one of these has an incredible list of stuff that he made. Call sign practice. All different speeds, different characters of call signs. You got the top 25 DXCC call signs and just the amount of work Kurt put into this site is amazing. And you got resources, which is some stuff you could pick up. Look, they talk about Roofs XP, they talk about CW Ops, Mars Runner, because these are all the leading sites to use. And when MM's a good logger, is LCWO the first one we started with. You got reference, which it just looks like the characters to me. I don't think I've ever been on reference before. Or miscellaneous. Let's see what miscellaneous is. Music, essays. Uh, that's just stuff related to CW. And then over here, contact. If you need to contact Kurt for any reason, there's some links, here's his address. And because of the amount of work he put into this platform, if you use it, come over here and donate some. Even a dollar's helpful, he says, but shoot him a couple bucks. It's appreciated and it's a great resource. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you liked this video. I hope it's something that can help you. Good luck in your CW journey. Remember to like, subscribe, and ding that bell to catch all my videos. 73.